So the principle of the lock and heat key hypothesis is that you have an enzyme. It has this specifically shaped area called the active site. Now you do have to be careful with spelling active site because so many people spell it like site as in site test, looking at things. We also have put here two substrates just to show, usually in textbooks it gives you a breakdown reaction. We're going to do a building up reaction, so we're going to do a condensation reaction. The thing that's doing the reacting is called a substrate. So at the start of reaction you've got an enzyme and substrate or substrates. And the idea is that these specific shaped substrates fit in to the active site like a pieces of a jigsaw, the lock and the key. This forms, when they collide, an enzyme substrate complex. Now this is a word, this is a, t a term that the board want you to use. So whenever you're talking about enzyme reactions, you should be talking about enzyme substrate complexes forming. The reaction then happens, and we'll go into how that happens by lowering activation energy, and the product is a slightly different shape from the active site, so the product leaves, so this one over here is the product, and it leaves the enzyme intact, unchanged, which is one of the features of a catalyst, so it can go all the way back and do another reaction. So the speed at which the enzyme forms the enzyme substrate complex and returns to being an unchanged enzyme and can go back and react again is called the enzyme's turnover rate. Some of them are very, very fast, catalase being one of them.